What is going on, my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. And if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. We are continuing our Arc 3.0 builds with a Titan one for you, doing some max, max DPS as a bullet. We're going with the Curios of the Falling Star thunder crash titan but before we get into that make sure to go down into that description to get into the giveaway for this beautiful 144 hertz one millisecond monitor from pixio so amazing and grab that link in the description down below so getting into the build right here we are one shotting everything with our super as well as our melee is decently effective especially with how we're doing some of the things inside of the aspects fragments weapons mods but to start off we're going over our abilities aspects and fragments so first off for the build we're going with thunder crash for that high dps with our exotic chest piece you can use your towering barricade your rally barricade or our new thruster whichever you feel totally a personal preference as well as your jump now for me i'm using our seismic strike shoulder charge for our melee so we can blind enemies with that aoe damage around and when we're amplified that blast radius for the blind increase Increases and we do get amplified with arc pretty instantly just by defeating arc targets with that damage now for our grenades we're gonna go with pulse grenades because of the aspect that we have on for our titan touch of thunder so you can see pulse grenades create ionic traces periodically as it damages targets and increases its damage over time so this is very good for those ionic traces which will in turn give us our arc ability energy back even faster than we already have it based on pick and arc elements elemental wells and our arc mods on our armor for our second we're going to be using a knockout here so critically wounding a target or breaking their shield infuses your melee attack with arc energy increasing the range and damage for a short time pairing this with our shoulder charge and that blinding very very good for having some pretty high dps shoulder charts and then everything around you can't see you're creating ionic charges it is super nice and on top of that defeating targets with that melee attack starts health regen and makes you amplified so another facet of becoming amplified and healing ourselves for our fragments over here, we're going to be using Spark of Recharge. So when we do happen to get critically wounded, our melee and grenades start to come back super, super fast, allowing us to spam them a little bit faster since they are a little lower on our stat tier because we built this out for our Thunder Crash. We're also defeating a Jolted Targets, create Ionic Traces via Spark of Ions, which will again help us get back our grenade and melee energy faster when we collect those Ionic Traces. Third, for our fragments here, we got Spark of Discharge, so Arc Final Blows have chances to create those Ionic Charges as well. And since we're running a Forbearance with Chain Reaction, very easy to get at least one Ionic Trace to proc pretty much every single time you get a defeat with that couple people in the area of that explosion. Last but not least, we're going to go with our Art Grenade Jolt's targets via Spark of Shock. This will help us in turn with that jolting and creating that nice AoE of damage and defeating those jolted targets. For our weapons here, we're going to go with the Crate Auto Rifle with Overflow Headstone. This thing procs with like a hundred in the magazine when Overflow. So it's very good for that ad clear inside of this build, especially pairing that with Forbearance, one of the best ad clear weapons for arc and that synergy in the game with throwing this on the floor for wave frame you have ambitious and chain so you get a nice big arc explosion and two in the magazine after you get defeat then we're bringing out the reprised thunderlord here with the catalyst so we're getting that arc lightning chain around as well as subsistence with the catalyst so this thing is super good for creating those ionic traces 
in that arc defeats as well as forbearance same thing with those arc weapon defeats now moving on to our armor mods over here we're gonna have machine gun and grenade launcher finder for our weapons as well as elemental light dropping that arc elemental wells when we get defeats with our thunder crash Moving on to our arms right here, we have impact induction, so causing damage with our melee attack, reduces grenade cooldown, and then throwing that grenade again jolts targets, creating more ionic traces for us. We're also running focusing strikes, so we get class ability energy when we do damage with our melee, protecting ourselves with that shield, and just having 100 resilience is super important for staying alive. We're also creating arc elemental wells via elemental armaments with those weapon defeats with forbearance as well as our Thunderlord. So it's a nice way to get our abilities back a little bit faster, especially with what we have on our chess piece here. So on our chess piece, I'm talking about font of wisdom. So when we pick up those arc elemental wells, it's going to take our intellect all the way up to a hundred for a short period of time, allowing us to basically regen our thunder crash even faster even though it's at only 60 intellect right now now for its armor perk why we're using curiosity the falling star here greatly increases our thunder crash impact damage and the longer that we fly around before we hit we are going to gain an overshield before striking that target so it's nice for that reduced damage incoming that is also why we threw on thermo shock plating as well as avoid resistance now on our boots here we're going to have machine gun scav for our thunder lord as well as melee well maker just another facet of creating those arc elemental wells so we can proc font of wisdom as well as gaining our abilities back a little bit faster and then finally important for this build we're going to be using amped up as well as thunderous retort amped up allows us to stay amplified longer which we're getting from those melee defeats as well as just in general getting amplified via arc damage defeats and then thunderous retort so we're getting even more arc super damage if cast while critically wounded or amplified that's why we have amped up so we can stay amplified for a super long time and we're just becoming amplified with this build with our shoulder charge our melees our grenades our weapon defeats as you can see super easy to get our abilities back and become amplified and the add clearing ability of the forbearance as well as the thunderlord is super super nice especially once we get our super we can wipe out lost sector bosses doing the altar of sorrows wipe out some nightmares in one single shot with just our super and then like i said that melee also becomes pretty strong because of the knockout aspect that we have for our titan here it is a super fun build for some crazy high dps taking this into end game you just might need to switch up a couple weapons to fit champions but very good especially since thunderlord got that intrinsic overload this season it is absolutely ripping through ads and ripping through champions and then with this curiosa the falling star doing that super you are destroying everything and if you're feeling real cheeky throw this on and throw it at oryx in the king's fall raid you gotta time it just right but you can reach all the way out there with your thunder crash and get that final hit on him when he's in his final stand feeling like a real titan so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this build we got some more coming at you very very soon i truly appreciate the support and i hope y'all are loving season of plunder thank you guys i'll catch you in the next one peace